I started collecting old uh, educational uh, and instructional films probably about 15 years ago, and it was totally by accident. And then over a period of time, I would get 500 here, 1,000 here, and so now we're at probably 23,000 uh, old educational and instructional films. So I maintain this archive, and I do shows all, all across the country, and I put together DVD compilations, and um, try to get people to think about these films again, because they are this interesting kind of view of, of our cultural history. Advertising, they're trying to get you to buy something. Uh, with educational films, they're trying to solve a problem or address an issue to make you kind of think about something or, or maybe teach you a lesson. So this is an, a, an excellent opportunity for us to look at the past and to kind of look at how the producers or how the advertisers tried to get their point across and how they tried to get uh, someone to buy something. It's interesting to see how the anxious mother is, you know, something that is constantly being advertised to. The, the anxious mother, the one who's the new mother who wants to make sure that she's doing things right. Lots of people market to her for various products. And it's fascinating to see they're using the same types of, of techniques, capitalizing on the, their nervousness and their anxiety about, I want to be a good mother, what can I do? And advertising says, well, this is what you can buy to be a good mother. And, and that fascinates me. It's really kind of interesting. Serial commercials, they, they're about the same. Although what's interesting is how we talk about food and cereal changes. And so the advertisers were marketing heavy, heavily to children and advertising sugar as an energy food, which has changed. <laughs> Our view of, of what sugar is and what it's supposed to be doing has changed over the years millions and millions and millions of hours of film out there and a lot of it is in archives and it is sitting on a shelf somewhere and nobody knows about it and putting it out and bringing it out to the public you are breathing life into this material it's a new ability for people to explore and to comment on it and you, you are able to give it maybe a life that it never you never thought it would have